Hi, the purpose of this demo is to show you how you can create a robot that will interact with Contact Center API and will fetch documents from any uh, resource hosting knowledge documents and then upload them in the Contact Center API knowledge base. So for this, we have designed a robot in UiPath Studio and uh, we have deployed it in UiPath Orchestrator. All of the components that we're going to be talking about uh, today are hosted on, uh, on Google Cloud. Uh, the orchestrator server is hosted at platform.uipath.rocks. Uh, and we've already uh, uploaded the, the process that is going to do this job for us. It's called Knowledge Base Builder Integrated. This process is going to take... Um, uh, is going to launch two services and each of those services is going to go and fetch data from a resource. The first one is going to fetch data from Salesforce using UI automation. We've already shown you how easily you can extract knowledge from Salesforce using the API. Well, now we're going to show you it's uh, possible, not only possible, but works just as well uh, when you use uh, the UI uh, ability of UiPath. Afterward, we're going to be pulling data from Afflation Confluence from the wiki page. And with the sum of those documents extracted from the two resources, we will place them all into uh, contact center. Now, a good question is, what is the input uh, for, for this? And I'm just going to go ahead and show you the input. The input is just a list of knowledge tags or labels. Uh, the idea being that within each CRM system that we search, the articles are not necessarily found in a location we will know uh, in advance, but they will have tags associated with them. And through these, that association of tags, we'll be able to create knowledge bases and then populate it with the articles that fit those tags. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go one by one into the, into the documents that fit the tags, and then we're going to search if that document ha has the, the labeled tag or indeed just has the text. Uh, orchestrator, infrastructure, and so forth. Uh, we will not be uploading the document if it just has the text, but we will be uploading it if it's tagged in that manner with a label. So you see the input is extremely simple, and basically you can use the same input across all spaces, uh, and the processes that do this are quite simple to design. So uh, let's look at the uh, second component. So for the robots, we use server-to-server -server authentication. So we don't want the robot to authenticate um, uh, into contact center on each, uh, on each request, since there might be many. And so we've built a translation layer in Node-RED that does server-to-server -server authentication and passes the token and then implements uh, the needed uh, contact center API calls uh, you know, we're able to create sessions, list sessions, uh, chat in a given session, um, view the messages uh, that have been transmitted back and forth in that particular session. We can request suggestions. We can play around with a knowledge base. Uh, and by, by getting the knowledge bases and listing the knowledge bases or uh, seeing the documents within each knowledge base. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, in the console, we can simply by going to uh, proscenium.uipath.com slash knowledge bases, we can query uh, the contact center project for available knowledge bases. We see there's only one. So uh, all of those tags that we have as input are going to be created as knowledge bases. And then all, all the articles found throughout Confluence or Salesforce are going to be uploaded in those tags. So at the end of the, of the process, we should be able to see all of that. So without further ado, uh, we're going to be launching the process and uh, see uh, what it does.